Paul Erdős is not a person with a fixed address. Uh, people often, after I tell them something about Paul, will ask me, well, where is he? And my answer is that he's everywhere and he's nowhere. He's nowhere because he doesn't have a fixed institutional affiliation, and he's everywhere because he travels constantly carrying the word. If some people in England, for example, prove a beautiful new theorem, uh, Paul will carry it all over the world like a bumblebee spreading intellectual pollen. You see, when he left America in the 50s and couldn't go back, he brought all his worldly possessions with him. And I met him at the air terminal, and in the taxi on the way home, he opened a suitcase looking for something, one of two suitcases, and it was half empty. And it wasn't in there, so he looked in the other one, and that was half empty. And here was a man with all his worldly possessions in two half-empty suitcases. I was rather envious, in a way, of this very simple life, but I was shocked to the core that if you get one hole in your sock, you throw away the pair and buy a new pair. <laughs> it struck me as <laughs> outrageous. To spend all his life, 24 hours, with mathematics or with what he wants to spend, he had to have this life, not to have a job, not to have any any restrictions, not in private life, not in in academic life. He never carried checks, he never had a credit card, he he never carried traveler check, nothing. He is willing to leave the airport with twenty dollars in his pocket and go from Hungary to Australia.